Oh man, God dog. LDW MMAC. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. And you're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. I mean, I guess I got to, you know, report on this fight. I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to talk about this fight. I didn't want to talk about it. But I had to. You know, I always say, I tell y'all, and I tell y'all and I tell y'all, that Dana White will give you an opportunity. But what you do with that opportunity, it's up to you. What you do with that opportunity that he provides for you, it's up to you. Lots of fighters beg Dana White for an opportunity. They beg him and beg him and beg him and beg him, you know? And sometimes he give in and sometimes he don't, okay? Sometimes he like his decisions and sometimes he regret it. Norman Dumont had an opportunity of a lifetime. It was given to her. She was there. Norman Dumont was talking a gang of, you know, Norman was saying, hey, you know, give me Amanda Nunes. Norman Dumont was talking about what she was going to do to Megan Anderson. And I liked it. I liked Norman Dumont's energy. I liked it. Now, could she withstand one of Megan Anderson's power right hands? That's the question. Look, man, this fight started out, okay? And I'm the fight <laughs> ended in round one. Norma Dumont was putting a lot of pressure on Megan Anderson, and she was winning the fight. Norma Dumont was actually winning the fight. She was winning. She had Megan Anderson against the cage. Like, she had her there. She kept her there. Megan couldn't get off. She couldn't get off. She couldn't get off the cage. And, and by the way, Norma Dumont is built like a Mack truck. God, dog, she built like a Mack truck. Woo. God, Norma Dumont. Is, okay, and, okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop that, coach. Stop it. Here. Slap myself on the hand. Okay, let's finish talking about this fight. Um, Norma Dumont had Megan Anderson pressed against the cage, man. She had her there. Megan couldn't get off. Megan couldn't. Uh, Megan didn't know what to do. Okay, Megan was fighting for an underhook. But I told y'all, Norma Dumont, her jiu-jitsu, her grappling is actually good. And Norma put that on full display. Um, her striking didn't look too bad either. Megan did a very good job of being patient. Like, Megan was waiting for the opening. She was waiting on Norma Dumont to really commit to a lot of offense, and Megan was looking for the perfect right hand. That's what she was doing. Uh, Norma had against the cage. Norma went for a takedown. Megan Anderson was able to sprawl, and uh, Norma Dumont, uh, you know, she got back up. And, uh, you know, I was like, okay. So, Norma need to stay within close range of Megan so Megan can't get, you know, can't separate and then get leverage on the right hand and knock it out. And as soon as I started thinking that, man, Norma Dumont and Megan Anderson, they separate. Megan got some space. She got the space she needed. And Megan just, I mean, Norma Dumont, just like, I don't know, man. She walked in there, hands down, chin up. And I said, oh, Lord, here it come. I said, here it come. Boom. There it came. Megan Anderson hit Norma Dumont with the right hand. And I'm talking about she hit her in the face. And then she hooked the right hand, like hit her and hooked it. And it just, it, it hit her, man. It hit her square in the middle of the face, man. And Norma Dumont, she failed. I said, it's over. Um, you know, the, I thought Norma Dumont was trying to, uh, like Megan came over there and hit her with a couple of more shots. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I was like, okay, give Norma about a second, man, to try to work it out. Because Norma had grabbed onto her hand. Um, you know, she would even tell she was dazed, man. Megan dropped her ass. I mean, Megan dropped her. And I said, nah, she out. And, uh, you know, after she hit her with a couple more hands, I said, nah, go on and stop this fight, ref. Norma Dumont going to lose her damn life in here. Going to lose her life. Um, but I'll I tell you something right now, okay? I, t I told you all about Megan's power. Megan Anderson got power, okay? She got one hit or quarter power. Like, if she catch you and she get enough leverage on her shots, Megan Anderson can knock you the hell out. But to me, that's all Megan has. And Norma Dumont, all she had to do was keep the fight in close quarters. And she'd have won this fight. Like, Norma Dumont looked good. I like Norma Dumont, though. I like her. I like her tenacity. I like her energy. And I like that, you know, she was over. She was too confident, though. Like, she was overly confident. And see, they was probably looking at tape of, you know, her fighting Holly Holm and her fighting Felicia Spencer. You know, and they were looking at those tapes. And Norma Dumont thought that she can stand and trade with Megan Anderson. That's a no-no. Okay, that's a no-no. Norma Dumont, I really thought that. And she got caught. 
Norman Dumont got caught right in the middle of her damn face, and boy, she hit the canvas. And I'm talking about it was a wrap. It was a wrap, okay? It was a wrap, and uh, old girl didn't know what to do. Now, I got a little pissed off, man. So Michael Bisbean, you know, asked her, hey, you know, uh, you know, hey, you know, they, they, they're saying that, uh, you know, somebody wants to fight Amanda Nunes, and who is it? And, you know, I'm sitting here like, come on, man, come on. I mean, okay, Megan knocked out Norma Dumont, okay? Megan knocked out Norma Dumont, and we can say Felicia Spencer beat Zara Fern. Neither one of those two, they're like overly, overly great opponents, okay? They're not. However, if I got to go with who deserves that title shot and who really, I mean, come on, man. Felicia Spencer earned a title shot when she got in there and banged it out with Chris Cyborg for three rounds. Felicia Spencer earned that right. Megan Anderson, y'all remember that? She ran from Cyborg. I don't care, man. If they give Megan Anderson a title shot, this will be the worst. I'm going to tell you, Felicia Spencer will officially be partially. I, I make her a halfway honorary member of the No Love List. She can't be on there fully, completely. But, you know, I, I know something up, man. Because, you know, they've been trying to hype Megan Anderson for a while. And Megan, Megan not the goods, okay? She got a right hand. Megan Anderson got a right hand. Megan know how to throw that right hand. And that's really about it. But all these people with any kind of grappling, any kind of jujitsu, man, they able to keep Megan on the ground. If you get Megan on her back, she can't do anything. But I got to say, though, I'm not a Megan Anderson fan, but that right hand was beautiful. That right hand was beautiful, man. I'm telling you, she landed that right hand perfectly. And she put all her weight behind that right hand. And I mean, man, this is a learning lesson for Norman Dumont. It's a learning lesson, okay? I bet you next time, if she ever get another opportunity like this, you're not going to give a striker the space they need. You're not. You know, and I was even thinking, you know, Norma need to go ahead and just shoot for a double leg. Okay, at least get in close quarters. Don't stand in range. Don't stand in that mid-range, man. She did it anyway, man. She got knocked out. Hey, and your first loss is a knockout. You know what? That's, man, that's going to be a normal demand here for a hot minute, man. It is. It's going to be a normal demand here for a hot minute. And she's going to remember that, man. She's going to remember that. Wow. This was a, well, I mean, I guess I can say this was a good fight. Was it a good fight? Yeah, it was. It was. I mean, for as long as it lasted, anyway, it was a good fight. Norma Dumont is bad as hell, don't she? Damn, she bad. Yeah. yeah okay, C come on, Coach. Stop it. A good win by Megan Anderson. You know, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.